What's up guys, it's Vishu from Geekstart. So we have installed and configured Java SDK 1. Point, Java JDK 1.8 and in this video we are going to install Glassfish server and to do that just go and google or bing Glassfish go to the official, official website and once it opens up so once it opens up go to download and you can download the new release 4.1.2 version use the full platform and it prompts so it would usually put my zip folders in compress but I don't want that I'm just going to put it in the downloads folder and it will take a minute and once that is done let me show you CMD let me open up my it's over here so I'm in users Vishu. If I do a CD downloads, I would be in my downloads directory where I downloaded the zip file. So what we are going to do now is download the file that we just downloaded is in like is in this machine, my base operating system, and the file that we need to configure the server should be in our virtual machine. So we are going to transfer it from my machine to the virtual machine and to do that uh, if you guys remember I told you whenever you are installing PuTTY always go for the Microsoft installer instead of like downloading the exe files because now I see the directories over here if I run directory you will see all the directories and you can see this file glassfish 4.1.2 and you can see my ppk file that we created from Partigen. and what I'm going to do is just type PSCP which stands for which stands for Putty Secure Copy and you can see all the options how to use it and we are going to use this one because source is my base machine and like target is the virtual machine so I also need a key to authenticate myself so I'm going to use P let me write it down for you guys so first let me do a dir and PSCP minus I which is over here if you see minus I and then the name of the key so name of my key is class fish SQL and then the source and then the destination so source is here EC2 user at the rate let me copy the public dns and if i paste it over here and hit enter this won't work because it is trying to copy it locally which is not possible because we are trying to do it remotely so what you have to do is put a colon at the end this says that just put it in the home directory of ec2 user and once you hit enter it will start copying the file and it's going to take a minute i don't know why it's taking so long but i'm going to pause the video and come back to it when it's almost done so the copy is almost finished let me see if it actually got transferred so it went in the home directory and if i check where i am i'm in the home directory so if i do an ls over here i will see 4.1.2 which is the file that we just transferred so it has been copied over here what I can do now is copy it to some other directory so this directory uh, you can't work without sudo because it's a slash usr oh I need to give the destination or uh, source first so it should be glassfish so it will say permission denied so you put sudo and it will copy it let me go over there so user share if I do a pwd it would say that I am in user share and if I do an ls you can see my glassfish zip file and what I need to do now is run unzip minus q and the name of the file that I want to unzip and it's giving me an error because I forgot sudo and once you run this it's complete you do an ls and you will see a glassfish for folder so in the next video we are going to go in this folder and configure the servers 
to run it remotely. So I'll see you guys in the next video.